me Yesterday, today, and forever It says in Hebrews 11.1, and I'm sure most of you are familiar with this, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Well, if there's no assurance, no confidence of the things hoped for, well, you know what the result's going to be? Oh, good. Okay, I'll tell you. No, I won't tell you. I'll let Solomon tell you, all right? Because Solomon wrote in Proverbs, Proverbs 13, 12, he said, Hope deferred makes the heart sick, but desire fulfilled is a tree of life. When you don't have hope, it'll make you it'll make your heart sick. It'll make you heart sick, right? Mm. There are a lot of heart sick people in this world. I mean, that's an incredible truth. Really, really heart sick. Heart disease is the number one cause of death in the United States of America. Why? Yeah. Like you're putting it in the context of what you're just talking about. You, well, that's a good thing yeah. to do is to put it in the context because everything should be viewed and through the Word of God, yeah. right? Yeah. So when you do that, I mean, heart disease is the number one killer in America. Why? It's because people don't have that hope of the Lord. That's right. Okay? And like you said before, that's where Satan will attack. He, you know, he attacks where you're weak. Yeah. I mean, any, any predator is going to attack where you, where you are weak, right? So he's going to attack that heart, right? Love, God's love, mm -hmm. right, leads to, well, a, again, instead of me saying it, let me read you with somebody much better than me, smarter, more spiritual, more fair. Uh, okay. Somebody else wrote the Apostle Paul wrote this in Romans chapter 5, right? I'm going to read from verse 1 to verse 5. Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom also we have obtained our introduction by faith into this grace in which we stand, and we exult in hope of the glory of God. And not only this, but we also exult in our tribulations, knowing that tribulation brings about perseverance. And perseverance, proven character. And proven character, hope. And hope does not disappoint, because the love of God has been poured out within our hearts through the Holy Spirit who was given to us. Can you see? I mean, this is, this is, this is a hope machine. Yes. <laughs> and it involves that tribulation. It involves that warfare. Mm -hmm. it, in, it involves all of this. But it is because the love of God has been poured into our hearts that we have the ability to do this. Okay? It's like a we, blueprint. Because we need to have faith that leads us to a hope that does not disappoint because of God's love. Mm -hmm. Satan will attack your heart because that is the place faith and love come together, as mm -hmm. I said, right? For with the heart a person believes, resulting in righteousness. With his mouth he confesses, resulting in salvation. The schemes of the devil and the triumph of Christ Jesus, they are clearly seen in this statement of the Lord. Okay? Mm -hmm. John 10.10. 10. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. All right? Our faith and love, our breastplate that we're armed with, fends, will fend off every effort of the enemy to attack our heart mm. because you have hope and hope does not disappoint all right so when we, when we put on the breastplate of righteousness consciously being aware of what this means in our lives you will see another of the many defeats of the devil in your life mm. he's going to attack Yes. Many of the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers us from them all. You're going to see victory in your life. You're going to see how God will work and overcome these trials and tribulations in your life. Don't go out on improperly dressed. Yes. Yes. You, should, you should hang this up by your door so when you walk out, you make sure you put on... A checklist. Right? The first thing was to gird up your loins, right? That's right. Put on that breastplate. Because... If you're if you're walking in faith, mm -hmm. Satan's going to attack you. Absolutely. I mean, I, I've shared this with you before, but I'll share it real quickly. Alice and I and Mark, we lived in Central America. We lived out in the bush in Central America. 
a place where there are many, many dangerous, dangerous snakes. Yes. Now, we grew up in New York, in, in New York City and, and suburbs. Different kind of snakes. <laughs> yeah, but there, there are no snakes here. So, I mean, we didn't have an experience. So one of the things I learned down living in the jungle and many other places we've traveled is by and large, if you leave snakes alone, mm-hmm. snakes will leave you alone. Mm-hmm. They don't want to eat you. You're too big mm-hmm. for the average snake, unless you find a 40-foot python or them, but that's enough. Mm-hmm. Okay. Everglades, you'll find them. Yeah. But if, on the other hand, you step on a snake, they're going to strike. Guaranteed. That not, because they're, they're, it's a defense. No. But Jesus has given us authority to tread right. on serpents. So you better know how to walk in victory, I'll tell you what. All right?